North Carolina dominated Virginia twice last season. There's your challenge, Wahoos, on Tuesday. Hey, Chris Graham here for Augusta Free Press. Virginia and North Carolina meeting up in Charlottesville, a JPJ late game tomorrow night, 9 p.m. tip. It'll be a late night for me. Uh, I'll be there at JPJ and then writing for a good while afterwards, no matter what happens, win or lose for Virginia. Now, mentioning that yeah, North Carolina dominated this series last year. Virginia had won, I think it was seven straight going into last season in this series. And then North Carolina made no doubt of how much better at least last year's team was, winning by 16 in Chapel Hill in a game that wasn't that close, and then dominating in a 20-point win in the ACC tournament. Virginia only scoring 43 points in that game. It was 33-13 at halftime. It was over early in that, that night uh, up in Brooklyn. Now, one of the features of Tony Bennett's pack line is that it's supposed to take out a big post guy like Armando Baycott with the post-to-post doubles. You know, the the two features of the pack line defense, uh, you, it's supposed to take away the pick and roll play with the high hedge. And then also those post-to-post doubles down low for, uh, are, are meant to force uh, a, a dominant big like an Armando Baycott to have to pass the ball out of the double team, make the perimeter shooters hit shots. Well, um, among the things you got to do <laughs> is you got to box him out. And Virginia didn't do that at all in the game in Chapel Hill. Uh, as a 74-58 loss. Baycott had 29 points and 22 rebounds. None of those rebounds on the offensive glass. He just went and got his own points in a lot of cases. Uh, on the other side in that game. So 29 points, 22 rebounds for Armando Baycott. Virginia's two bigs, Caden Shedrick and Francisco Caffaro had two points and two rebounds between them in 36 minutes at the five position. 29 and 22 versus two and two. Someone dominated that day. Um, that one also had the, the, the first game. Brady Manick, uh, he had 19 points, five of nine on threes. Caleb Bluff had 16 points, four of nine on threes. They made some tough shots. Um, I remember that game vividly. They made some shots hand and face. Uh, falling down, everything else. Sometimes guys make shots, and that happens certainly in that game. The game in Brooklyn was different. Uh, Virginia uh, wasn't necessarily dominated by Baycott as much as they just couldn't score. North Carolina held Virginia, I, I mentioned, 33-13 at halftime, 13 points for Virginia in the first half, 43 points on the night, and uh, that was just an ugly one. And oddly, for college sports in 2023, these are largely the same two rosters. Brady Mannix not around. He's replaced by a guy named, uh, a guy named Pete Nance. A transfer from Northwestern, who's another big from the Midwest uh, who can shoot threes. Uh, Virginia's got their own Brady Manic-like guy, Ben Vanderplas, who's up and down this season so far. But other than that, largely, again, these two teams are pretty much the same. There's a couple freshmen that play for both teams uh, in in support roles, but the the key players for both sides uh, are familiar from last year. So just to refresh you guys and gals uh, on North Carolina, Baycott, yes, again, yeah, he's doing it. He's putting up ACC Player of the Year numbers, 18.8 points a game, 11.2 rebounds a game, 56.7% shooting. And he's he's doing all that, leading the team in scoring and everything else uh, with getting less touches. He's, uh, he's he's actually third on the team in field goal attempts per game. The backcourt of Love and R.J. Davis, are product, it's a productive backcourt, but they use the ball a ton. Love averages 15.2 shot attempts per game. Davis, 12.6. Those guys will put it up. Love, not quite as effective as he had been last year. 39.9% from the field, just 29% from three. Um, A little bit better numbers for Davis there. 43.6% from the field, 34.6% from three. The aforementioned Nance, uh, this year's Manic, um, he is uh, also scoring a double digits, 10.9 points a game, 6.1 rebounds a game. So he he rebounds well for a big, shooting 50% from the floor, 34% from three. Uh, Nance was out the last game, and I have not heard to uh, as of this recording uh, what his status is for Tuesday night. Uh, he was replaced uh, as a starter uh, in the Saturday win for North Carolina against Notre Dame by freshman Seth Trimbles. Trimbles a 6'3 guard, so it's more like they kind of shuffled things around, put Leaky Black uh, more at the at the four position. Uh, Trimble had a quiet day, three points, three rebounds in 23 minutes. Now, Junior Puff Johnson, he's a bigger guy, 6'8". Um, he was not getting many minutes per game this season, the junior, but he did get more in the, um, the game on Saturday and actually had a pretty, pretty good day. 11 points, four or five field goals in 22 minutes. Also had six rebounds. So the aforementioned leaky black is the other starter, uh, the other normal starter for this team. He will not pr- impress you with his counting numbers. Um, he's, he, you know, for longtime Virginia fans, he reminds me of Cornell Parker. That's longtime Virginia fans back in the nineties, Virginia fans. 
if you remember that far back. Um, 7.3 points per game, 6.1 rebounds per game. He can shoot it 45.6% from the field, 37.1% from three. He can, he just doesn't often shoot it. He does a lot of other things for this team. And at six, nine, he can guard from one to five. Literally, he can, he'll, he'll, you, you might see him on switches on Kia Clark, and he'll do just as good a job on him as he'll do on a switch on Caden Shedrick. That's how good this leaky black guy is. Um, I wonder if he's got a, a chance to play in the NBA, even without much of an offensive game. So from a projection standpoint, uh, all, all the computer services have Virginia as a favorite, anywhere from four to five points um, with a win probability in the mid-60s to low 70s. This game will be on again. The tip is at 9 p.m. Tuesday, a late night for us Wahoos. Um, go to Augusta Free Press for the game preview. I have lots of other news and notes columns on Virginia basketball from the past few days. Uh, the the recap of the uh, the win uh, on Saturday. Uh, over Syracuse, uh, the 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 uh, a story about uh, Tony Bennett's 327th win, the uh, setting the new school record for men's basketball coaches. Um, also, a, a column uh, where I implore Tony to stick up for Caden Shedrick, uh, who's getting into early and often foul trouble for no good reason, not because he's committing all of these fouls that he's being called for. Um, and so, look for those things and more on AugustaFreePress.com. And if you have a question for me, um, something, a story idea, a news tip, anything like that, feel free to email me at chris at augustafreepress.com.